Hey guys, it's Haley here with All My Bunnies. I am back with another episode. We are going to continue right where we left off last time. Um, we just had our very first baby, Avery Booker. We are pregnant with our second baby, with Travis Scott's baby. And in this episode, we are going to uh, continue writing so we can continue getting some more money so that we can actually finish up our house a bit. And we are also going to start trying to build a relationship with Father Winter so that we can have his baby next. So I'm really excited. Um, well, let's go ahead and get started. I know she's busy having, making making brunch um, at 1.45 p.m., which I guess is not really brunch anymore, but when we, when we cooked on the fridge, it was brunch time. So I have her eat her pancakes. They look yummy, normal quality. Mm, that sounds really good, actually, pancakes. I'm a big pan pancake fan. My husband likes waffles and my kids like both, but I purpose, per, personally, I per, per, oh my gosh, I personally uh, enjoy pancakes a lot more than I do waffles. All right, let's get our book going. I know we were writing How Not to Burn the House Down, a guide to the best garden salads. Dominic, no, I don't want to go to your house. I can't, I can't leave. We're stuck here now, housebound with a new baby, which is honestly pretty realistic, at least for me. When I had my children, um, I didn't even want to go anywhere for the first little bit after they were born. It was like, nope, I'm staying home, uh, don't want to see anybody, just want to hang out with my uh, fresh new baby. That sounds really creepy, fresh new baby. <laughs> All right, we finished a book. And we've already written three good books. We only have two more to finish that um, aspiration. And we are trying to get enough aspirations. We need 3,000 to get the fertile. Why is she wearing that? Why is that her outfit now? Is it because it's... Let's change your outfit. Why are you still wearing the hospital outfit? Yeah, as you can see, um, I didn't... <laughs> when I made this sim, I didn't make all of her outfits because we aren't really going to be going to parties and we're not going to be doing too much other stuff. So you can see she still has some really questionable outfits, um, but I'll fix those. I'll fix those. If we do have a party, we need a party outfit or a formal outfit. I will make her something nice to wear. I don't know why she changed back into the hospital. Um, let's go ahead and take a shower because the baby is content. She's hygiene is getting kind of low. We want to keep her happy. We want to keep her comfortable so that we could keep writing. And tonight I'll probably just have her keep writing. And then, well, should, I, should we have, should we have Daddy Winter come over? Maybe we'll have Daddy Winter come over. Let's try that. Oops, comment, there we go. Invite him to hang out. We'll have him uh, get our relationship up with him, get our romance up. So as soon as we have the second baby, we're ready to go, go again. Baby's hungry. Let's have her take care of him. And then we'll, we should start trying to build up a bit of a toddler room here. We don't have a ton of cash, but we have enough to spruce it up a little bit, uh, throw a rug down, get a toddler bed, get a potty. I'm excited to see how our house here progresses. We've reached parenting level two. Ooh, he's here. He's here. We'll share big news. Tell him we are both about family. We'll tell him we are on our way to 100 babies. We uh, are pregnant with number two, so we are almost 1 50th of the way there through our 100 baby challenge. All right, baby's content until he has needs a diaper change. Yeah, whenever I have the babies, I always like to, um, I feed them and rock them and then just wait till they have a diaper change and then I just do the diaper change and I find that to be like the most efficient way with the babies. So you're not, you're not guessing and they're not randomly just, you know, once they're hungry and then like two seconds later they need you to hold them. So I just do uh, feeding and, and cuddling at the same time and then just wait until they uh, show the uh, the stinky animation so that you know they need a diaper change. 
Give him a heartfelt compliment. Oh, we were supposed to watch the TV season premiere. Well, why don't we watch that together? Let's watch the Game of Llamas premiere. Why not? Clement has the good trait. Oh, see, there's the stinky. There's the stinky baby. Hold on. And then let's watch the game of Lama Sermir, and then we'll talk to uh, Father Winter here. Okay, he's turning it on for us. He's turning it on for us. <laughs> All right, share ideas, brighten his day. Look, he is flirty. He is turning it on for us. See, it wasn't just me making a bad joke. It's true. We'll work on getting our friendship nice and high. We'll get to know. I'm going to get to know again because we already found out one of his traits. Let's find out all three. Level three of the charisma skill. That's going to definitely help us because uh, she'll be able to flirt more effectively with high charisma and he's flirty so we can go ahead and start our flirtiness do our standard flirt and compliment appearance because those are the two um, interactions I feel like they never turn down <laughs> not never I mean they might if you don't have any relationship at all but if you're already friends you can start your uh, flirt and compliment appearance Did we already skip it? Alright, we got to watch our TV season premiere of Game of Llamas. <laughs> and we'll go ahead and just finish these few interactions with him. Um, we've got started. We haven't uh, gotten him all the way probably to the point where he wants to woohoo. No. But that's okay. We're on our way there. So we'll go to the bathroom. We'll go to sleep. Until the baby wakes us up. And then we will keep going. He's he's leaving anyway. Go till morning. It's almost his birthday. Yep, we have one more day. One more day and then he will age up and we'll have our first toddler. We got 100 aspiration points for having a good TV season premiere. Baby's up, so we'll breastfeed, rock, and cuddle. The gnomes came out to fix... Nothing, but it's good to know that if something does break in our house, we have the gnomes to come help us. That way we don't have to pay a repair person. Um, we probably wouldn't pay a repair person, though we'd probably just try to do it ourselves and hope that um, it worked out. <laughs> and it's, let's see, 3.45 in the morning, so we'll have her go back to sleep just a little bit. I know she's hungry, but the baby will probably wake us up with a dirty diaper in like an hour anyway. Yep, he look at he's already. It's good though. Like if you just kind of follow this, like feed and cuddle, and then wait for the dirty diaper. Like the the babies end up being pretty predictable, which I think is kind of helpful, especially in a challenge like this. We'll go ahead and just have breakfast now. We're pretty hungry. Um, it's pretty helpful in a challenge like this when you probably are going to have like three toddlers roaming around and a new baby and. Uh, other kids and you're still trying to you know write or paint or do whatever you're doing for money and you're trying to just kind of plan the most efficient way to get the most out of your uh, day so it's nice to have the babies on a schedule just like real life it's really good to have your babies on a schedule um, very important it's a very important part I think of uh, effective um, not effective parenting but just uh, being able to cope with your life <laughs> because if the babies are on a schedule they are happy and if your babies are happy you are a much happier person so yeah uh, life advice <laughs> life advice from a mom of two who likes to play the sims all right so we made our fruit salad this looks way better than the fruit salad yeah it's an excellent quality one way better than that really nasty greenish yellow one we made in our i believe it was our first episode uh, that was not very good looking. I like though that in The Sims uh, 4 they have distinguished, I think they did this in the, the other Sims 3 and Sims 2, I can't remember. Um, when your Sim does make like a meal that's really poor, it actually looks 
really just nasty and like they don't all look the same you can tell like that this one's a good quality one I like that attention to detail personally but it is love day which is the perfect day to have uh, father winter come over maybe we'll ask him on a date but it'll just be a date in our house and actually that'd be really good because if we can get a gold date we will get um, that little like champagne bucket item and I think that's worth actually $750 so we could just sell that and maybe that's maybe that's part of the way we'll make money we'll just go on dates we'll get gold medals we'll get $750 every uh, date we go on that would be a an interesting way to make money for a hundred baby challenge all right let me fast forward I'm just talking I we should just be fast forwarding and trying to get through as much of this as possible and our fun is pretty low but we will let's write uh, let's finish one book today and then we'll have uh, father winter come over for a date so let's write another nonfiction book we will put our earbuds in oh I forgot we got these frogs the eggplant frog and the striped leaf frog let's breed them let's see if we can get anything no, no I'm just gonna sell these because and we have our first uh, authentic birth certificate. We'll put it in here for now. Let's see, our nonfiction book is called Lies My Writing Teacher Told Me. Let's call our book. Let's just let's just keep it simple. Let's do a parenting advice book. Uh, how to get your new baby on a schedule. And we'll call it. You will again even though <laughs> it, it could be a lie because personally neither of my kids were uh, good sleepers and my youngest child uh, is almost two years old and still doesn't sleep so I don't know uh, how much oh we didn't get a picture with Travis but I was gonna say I don't know how much I can give advice on getting kids to sleep because it just depends on the kid my kids don't like to sleep but some kids do. <laughs> Voting is now open. Should we vote on our neighborhood action plan? We should probably do that. Oops, not go here. Okay, that's good that we have a good reputation because now when we um, greet Sims, our um, our relationship will go up really quickly. We'll already meet them. We'll already be like halfway to friends which will be awesome. That'll help us immensely. We do need to invite Travis to come over and I was going to have her listen to some music. Listen to, let's do some easy listening. Because that'll help our fun go up. We'll have Travis come over because I forgot I'm trying to take, um, can we name this? Okay. We'll call this one Avery. Because that is Avery's dad. And I think I'll put number one too. We'll name it number one, Avery. I'll have to get one with Travis too. I want to have a wall of all the dads. So even though they uh, they aren't here <laughs> living in our house, at least the kids will be able to look at a picture, which is really kind of sad to say that. Um, it's a little bit too real probably for some people, but you know, we'll have a, we'll have a gallery wall of all of uh, her accomplishments. <laughs> we got five hundred eighteen dollars from royalties. Look at we have over a thousand dollars. We are doing good. We are uh, bringing in the money. I still would really like to start a garden. That's something else we need to do is just kind of go get whatever collectibles we can here. Um, I might not bother though. Now that I think about it. I might not bother with the garden yet until we can make like a little greenhouse because with the seasons um, installed, you know, we have to, we can only get our certain fruits and stuff in certain seasons and that'll be, um, I don't want to like manage a rotating seasonal garden. I want to just have uh, one crop, which I'm going to try to do dragon fruit. Do you want to go on a date? No, I don't, Dominic. I'm sorry. I'm done with you. We have done what we need to do. We have made this baby. <laughs> and now we don't need him anymore. 
not the baby we don't need uh, Dominic anymore so let's have her take care of him let's publish our new book let's vote on a neighborhood action plan and then let's go ahead and call uh, Father Winter over for a date we'll go on a date today I think we have to give go on a date give flowers but we can just do the um, the romantic offer rose interaction that actually ticks this box for love day so we'll do that and then romantic spirit why does she keep changing into the hospital gown I guess she really liked it I guess she took it home and she just she's into it so we have let's see our neighborhood has self-sufficiency where fishing gardening and handiness are rewarded with increased influence See, back to the old days. Reading books and playing board games. Comedy, mischief, video gaming. Rock your body and your mind. We wear bags. I think that's so funny. <laughs> Rough housing. I don't want to do that. Upcycling. And tech support. None of these really are ones that I want. But we can get one of these. Is there one? Yeah, the creative arts. Let's do that for our neighborhood. Yeah, painting, photography, writing. Uh, you get influence from those. We'll also inc increase pay. I don't know if that works for just the freelance writing, but will 10 be enough? Could be. We'll get more influence though, so we might as well just do them all. Awesome. Okay, actually we are pretty tired. So let's have, let's eat, make a tofu taco. We'll take a nap and then we will call um, Father Winter over to have, go on a date, do our love day so we can get some more aspiration points so that we can get that, um, the fertile uh, aspiration reward so that we can have more twins. Which honestly, like it's helpful to a point but once we have like so many kids and teenagers and we, we just can't have more babies because there's not any space in our household, um, it's really not going to matter if we can have twins or not because we're just going to be having like one baby at a time anyway. But at least if we do have the space, we'll be able to do it quicker. So have her take a nap. Travis Scott, here you guys are good friends now. You're getting more popular. Like I'm getting more popular because my newborn baby likes me. <laughs> But that's always good. You want your newborn baby to like you. Okay, so she's sl she's slept a little bit. Let's call. Where is he? Father Winter. We'll invite him on a to our current lot, and then we will ask him on a date, and we'll just stay home. We won't go anywhere. Clement Frost will be right over. We should change. Should we change? We'll put on, I know I, I should, uh, oops, change outfits. I should change her, get her like a nice little date outfit, but we'll put her in her warm weather outfit, which is just this like little dress, which she'll probably end up being kind of cold, but, uh, <laughs> we're not going to really be spending time outside. So here he is. Hopefully he'll just come in. Yeah. Okay. Cause I didn't want her to go outside cause I don't want her to. End up getting cold. Is she already cold? No, we're just having morning sickness. Third trimester in seven hours. Let's ask him on a date because it is love day. We'll have a date here. Hopefully if we can get a gold date. We can get that item. We could sell it for $750 and we will be on our way to riches. Love to have you join the good timers. Should we join the good timers? I will just because I think we'll end up meeting some more people that way okay we are not leaving we are going to stay home because we can't uh, leave our baby sit and talk to your day so sit and recite love poetry no sit down first okay now we'll talk, we'll compliment his outfit, give him a heartfelt compliment. He's already flirty. Father Winter is a flirty dude. Alright, make a move. Flirt. Flirt. 
little kiss. Can we do our first kiss? Yeah, let's do that. Let's see, have infant become playful at the same time. That's kind of annoying, though. Like, that's kind of like you get them into one state and you have to get them all the way to another one. Ask risque question. What secrets does uh, Daddy Winter have? <laughs> Whisper seductively. Embrace. I'm surprised they're not getting flirty. That's weird. Usually they'd be like super flirty by now, but we already have a gold date. Oh, there we go. Alright. Well, he's already ready. We could woohoo with him at any point. Um. But we're gonna go ahead and stop because the baby's crying and we already have a gold date and that's fine. We'll end our date. We got a gold medal, legendary date, something special in our inventory. Oh, the only thing I didn't do was give him flowers. Is he leaving? Looks like he's not leaving yet. Can we give him a rose? Where's Offer Rose? Offer Rose. Right, hold on, go do that really quick. And then we'll go cuddle the baby so that the baby is content. Alright, and now we have had a really good love day. Perfect. Woohoo! Oops, hold on. I want to get a screenshot. <laughs> Oop. Nope. There we go. Okay. Alrighty. So we are all set up there. We forgot to invite Travis over, though, to get a picture with him. I like how she still has, like, the new baby happiness, and we're already almost in our third trimester. So we do have to remember to let uh, get Travis to come over. Maybe we'll do that next really quick. We'll send him home. We're done. We don't need him right now. We'll just keep him uh, in the burner in the back burner here until we have Travis's baby. Oh, let's invite him over. And what I should do, and what I'll probably do is have uh, like Dominic and Travis. We should make sure we have them over just to have them. Ask them just to be friends so that they aren't call, calling us constantly to ask for a date and that way to um, if we are ever out and they end up seeing us with somebody else they don't get all jealous all right nope we're not going to sleep yet don't go to sleep yet we need to take a picture with Travis and that way we can put him on the wall and then we might as well get a picture next time uh, Father Winter is over so we can put him on the wall too even though we don't have his baby yet but we will very soon okay aren't they cute I should probably get a better camera just so we have a little bit more um, options with everything but that's okay okay all right so let's just go ahead and we'll have her go to the bathroom we'll have her go to sleep we're good friends. We should actually ask him just to be friends. I think that's a romance thing. Maybe it's not. Let me see. Friendly. Ask just to be friends. I'm pretty sure there's an option. Yeah, ask just to be friends. Say, you know, we have a kid together, but it's not going to work out. <laughs> oh, we already sent him home, didn't we? No. Ask just to be friends. Ask just to be friends. Don't go to sleep yet. And then we'll send him home. And we'll put his picture on the wall. We'll look at those in a minute. It's Avery's birthday. We might as well age him up. And then we'll style him and everything. Um, 
and then that'll probably be the end of our episode here. Okay, so we're just friends. See, all of our romance went away. He says, they've decided to cool off their romantic relationship, and that's fine. We're still good friends, but we aren't uh, in a romantic relationship anymore, which is fine. Let's go ahead and age up the baby. And that way the, we can get started on our uh, skills and everything. Should we wait till midnight? Maybe we'll wait till midnight to do it. Because that way that way we won't uh, lose a day with a toddler just in case. Why don't we go ahead and have our dinner really quick. Have some vegetable dumplings. Because we are hungry. Then after midnight we will age up the baby. Um, then we'll have to we'll style our toddler and we'll get him a, a bedroom. Because we do have a little bit of money here. So we should be able to make a nice area for a toddler. And we should clean up all these dishes. I was I always try to have my Sims pick everything up because I just feel like it's more realistic than me just like dragging everything into the sink. But you got to do what you got to do. I wish like some uh, hand would come down into my house and drag all my dishes into the sink and clean them for me because that would be awesome. But unfortunately, I am not a Sim. <laughs> well, maybe fortunately because I don't know if I'd want to be a Sim with all the crazy stuff that happens in, in Sim life. All right, let's go ahead and age him up, though. It is after midnight, so that way we won't he won't age like another day uh, randomly. And we'll have an extra day to uh, meet all of our, our skill requirements. Which we probably don't even need the whole time. Oh, new quirk, refined palate. As a celebrity, Ramona has become accustomed to excellent quality meals. Eating food that doesn't meet her lofty quality expectations will make her increasingly uncomfortable. Morgan has sent Avery a gift. Who is Morgan? I don't know. <laughs> oh, Morgan Fires. I guess that's, I guess because that's actually his uh, sister, because half sister, because Dominic is her dad. So let's just randomize his trait. He's independent, which is going to work really good for us because independent toddlers don't need us to help them with the, uh, the potty or anything like that. So that's perfect. There he is. His skills are all high, so we'll have him work on his skills overnight. We'll also He's honestly pretty cute. We'll, we'll style him up. We'll make him look really good. All right. We'll have her just go to bed. And then we'll uh, style him and we'll... I'll probably... Off camera, I'll probably build his... His room here. Look, he's going to look at his birth certificate. I said, what's that? How sweet. I don't think we have a mirror. Do we have a mirror yet? To style anything? I don't think we even have a mirror for our bathroom. <laughs> oh, and here's this item. See this VIP bucket? bucket? Thought it was seven fifty, but I guess it's six forty-five. You can use this to get like romantic decor to make your Sims flirty, but I'm just gonna sell them if we get them from dates because we could definitely use that cash. All right, let me get a mirror really quick, and then we will. I'm just gonna get a cheap mirror. We don't have a whole lot of money here. That way, we can just see what our toddler looks like up close. And then we'll go ahead and uh, cut this episode off and we'll see what happens next time. <gasps> Here he is! He's pretty cute. Look at that. Alright, so we... Let's see, this, this is everyday outfit. Um, he doesn't need glasses or anything. He doesn't need a hat for his everyday outfit. If I took off his hair... <laughs> Not his hat. We don't want him to be totally bald. We'll give him a cute hairstyle. That's super cute. Kind of looks like my kid with his super curly toddler hair. And he's, let's see, a cute little independent toddler. She's kind of creative. I feel like the parents' taste kind of influence what um, kids wear. Oh, that little panda is super cute. And we've got all these new... I guess I have a lot of new toddler clothes, like especially even from like Island Living, I think. Yeah, because I never uh, really look at the toddlers too much. I kind of just leave them in whatever they um, age up into because they're just toddlers. Like it doesn't really matter what they look like too much. Just have them wear his cute little jeans. 
I don't know why there's not like a normal colored jean. It's like a jean color. Should I do black? I guess that's fine. I'll get him some shoes. Those are pretty cute. We'll make... I like these shoes. Perfect. And I'm not going to bother. I'll just do his pajamas. But I'm not going to bother getting him a whole... Um, is this from the knitting? Uh, we can knit. Okay, we're going to have to knit some of these toddler clothes for sure. So that's Maybe that'll be another thing we'll do. Is uh, I like this little thing. We'll have her learn how to knit so she can make cute little clothes for her hundred babies. Do we really want this little thing though? Let's just have normal. Let's have normal clothes. Let's have normal pajama clothes. Horses are fine. Should we have the do a little tank top? No, we'll do this. We'll just do the matching jammies. That's fine. Super cute. All right. There he is, Avery Booker. Our first toddler, our first child in our 100 baby challenge. And with that, um, I'm going to end this video. So thank you for watching, guys. If you did enjoy it and you want to see more, please subscribe. Um, give me a thumbs up. Leave me a comment. Let me know what you want to name the second baby. Give me some B names. Give me some C names and even D names in case we happen to have triplets. Probably won't, but, you know, you never know. It's the Sims. So anyway, I'm going to go. I uh, hope you guys have a good day and uh, keep watching my videos. Thanks, guys. Bye.